really... Oh yeah, this is cool right here, okay. We'll have to do this later. Oh, I got a date to do that? Okay. Cool, all right. Whoa, so this is the venue, huh? Not half bad. Mm -hmm. Where am I going to ask? Oh, there they are. Hey, Ito, been a while. Ah, don't you worry, Jack Attack. We'll find that dog, <laughs> even if it's hiding in Tenchu Kaku. <laughs> Ito. It's just a myth. What dog? Whoa, compadre! And Paimon! <laughs> you finally made it! Oh man, have I missed you guys. Oh, yeah, and this is Dvorak, a musician from Fontaine. Jack Attack, you know these two, right? I think so, yeah. Hi, Mr. Dvorak, it's you! <laughs> ah, it's so wonderful to see you both again. I feel like that lantern right was just yesterday. How have you been? Oh yeah, that lantern right from well, not from the kite one. From the first time when uh, what that happened? Oh my gosh, it stopped on me. God damn it! Hold on. Pretty good. So how did you end up hanging around with Ito? Is he helping you with the iridescence tour right now? Oh, you better believe it, Minnie Melon. But that's only half the story. Well, what is this? This is no ordinary iridescence tour. Me and Jack Attack are teaming up to turn this into the iridescent Aradaki Rockin' for Life Tour to Force of Awesomeness. <laughs> rockin' for Life? What do you know about rock and roll, Bullchucker? Huh? What, you never heard of Bullchucker rock before? Moo, moo, moo! Uh, and, uh. <laughs> Don't try and understand it, Minnie Melon. It'll melt your mind. It's about letting loose. Come on, give us some lavender melon rock. Okay, speak for yourself, mister. Sounds like you're the one whose mind is melting. <laughs> yeah, okay, just to backtrack a little, what a, what this dog you were talking about? <laughs> just a local legend I heard about. Apparently there was a war between the islands of Narukami and Watatsumi not too long ago. Is that right? Well, yeah. Such a waste. When will people learn? Make rock and roll, guys. Not war. Uh, a tragedy, to be sure. Countless animals were affected by the fallout. A raven, a bakadanuki, a weasel thief, and many more sustained injuries. Um, fair point. The animals didn't deserve that. But, I'm not to downplay it or anything, but didn't even worse stuff happen than that? In the eyes of a rocker, all living things are equally important. So, did this dog get injured too? No. The story goes that this dog was something like a ninkin. It would show up out of nowhere in the middle of a battle to rescue the injured animals and take them to safety. Ooh. That's an interesting one. Rocking and rolling to the rescue! A king among canines! Woo! <laughs> There'll always be a place for him in the Arataki gang. Where did you hear about this? Yeah. In Rito. I was actually there while the war was going on. Oh, really? It inspired me to write a song about it. I was even planning to host a music festival around the same theme, but unfortunately, uh, I couldn't convince my investors. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I heard all about that. They claimed they had to cancel their plans because of an accident at sea, but <laughs> that was just a lame excuse. Uh, yes. They weren't optimistic about the potential return on investment. Plus, I don't know, there seemed to be some other risks they were worried about. What kind of risks? Yeah. Good question. Risks only apparent to people with Mora to throw around, I suppose. Mm. I agree. <laughs> when people have too much Mora, they lose their rock and roll spirit. They do, huh? So what do you mean by rock and roll spirit anyway? Uh, you know, the spirit of the... Uh, you rock up, rock out, roll the dice, and roll with the punches. <laughs> and that sort of stuff. <laughs> huh. By that definition, aren't the investors the most rock and roll people in this scenario? 
Anyway, point is, those chumps are out, and Arataki Ito is in. I'm running the show from here on out. Oh, yeah, right! How are you gonna fill in for the investors? Do you even have any more? Oh. I don't have faith in Ito. He tells me that the Arataki gang is a small but well-known and influential organization in this area, and has even been known to rub shoulders with the local authorities. Isn't that right? Rub shoulders is putting it mildly. More like they're always locking horns. <laughs> hey, don't look down your nose at the Arataki gang. I got connections, all right? Even the track commission listens to what I have to say. <laughs> okay, Mr. Big Shot, whatever you say. You can doubt it all you want, Mini Melon, but it's the truth. You know that guy in the Yashiro Commission? Well, he and I are officially bros. That's right. I'm talking about Toma, housekeeper extraordinaire. Oh, Toma. Been a while. Been a while since I see him. And there's the general from the Tenryo Commission, Kujo Tengu. I mean, sure, we're always ribbing each other, but it comes from a place of deep mutual respect. Mutual? Yeah, Paimon's not so sure about that. Yeah, yeah. So what about the Kanjia Commission? Okay, fair. No first name contacts there. But the Arataki gang is a big contributor to the revenue stream. All those fines we pay. Uh, fines? Huh? No! Uh, I meant, I mean, the uh, taxes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, he messed up. But that's not all. Let's not forget my contacts outside of the Tri-Commission, huh? Amazing, talented people from all walks of life. Like, uh, oh, like the TCG legend, Ayato. Oh, yeah. He's made quite a name for himself in the TCG circles. Mm. In fact, they got a saying now. Ayato of the South, Ito of the North. <laughs> that's right. I'm the only serious competition he's got in all of Inazuma. I look at that face like, yeah, right. Did... did you make that saying up? <laughs> then there's the fox lady, VIP customer of Yukio's ramen stall and fellow participant in the Ramen Masters Championship. I was her only worthy opponent. Also, you know that lonely god in Tenchukaku? Well, guess what? Turns out it was her lifelong wish to catch one of Arataki Ito's events. During the Drum Along Festival, the Tenryo Commission were worried that their almighty shogun might have too much fun and lose interest in running the government. That's why they invited me over to stay for a couple of days. Wow, look at you! Sounds like you're really going up in the world. At this rate, you'll have made shogun by the next time we see you! And then Paimon will have to call you Almighty Bullchucker! Dang, what's with the name calling, man? Yeah. This is start this is amazing for them too. Um, well, I'll admit I heard a few exaggerations there myself, but regardless, Ito has helped me secure a venue for this event, and for that, I owe him my thanks. Ah, it's nothing. Don't mention it. My bro Goro sorted it all out for me. Let's both go thank him later. Wait, you know Goro? Yep. I always knew him as General Goro of the Resistance Fighters, but I had no idea there was more to the story. Turns out, he has another identity. What other identity? What are we talking about? You've, uh, heard of Miss Hina, right? Wait, oh, shoot. Miss Hina, so you... Uh-oh. Hey, no need to yell, all right? Yes, Miss Hina. She's the one who told me. After falling for the Tenryo Commission's tricks at the Drum Along Festival, I figured I'd find a new location this time, somewhere out of their reach, like, uh, here, for example. Mm. So I wrote Miss Hina a letter, asking if she knew anything about the procedure for holding an event on Watatsumi Island. She wrote me back right away and said I could ask Watatsumi Island's general for help, and that his name was Goro. I was like, uh, what? General Goro is the general of all Watatsumi Island? Ugh, that was close. Hyman's with you now, but what did you think general meant? <laughs> what do you mean? Isn't it like one general per squad or something? That's called a captain. <laughs> really? Huh. Well, either way, if it wasn't for Miss Hina, I never would have known. Pretty rock and roll, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, rock and roll. All right, good chat, compadre. I just remembered I got a meeting with Goro coming up. Gonna ask him about that dog situation. Gonna have to love you and leave you for now. Sure, don't want us to join. We could help. <laughs> 
you guys focus on having a blast here at the festival. I think I can handle this little canine conundrum. All right. All right, then, good luck. There's still a few days left until the big party, so not everything's set up yet. But uh, the jam zone and the roasted lavender melon zone are ready for action. Have fun, compadre. Got a dash. <sighs> what a character. Kind of admire his enthusiasm, though. Mm -hmm. Well, it looks like it's just the three of us for now. Why don't I show you the jam zone to start with? Are we still in this place? Okay. Well, let's see. Let's go over here. Let's jam over there. Here we are. I've supplied musical scores and instruments from various regions, including a horn I personally brought from Fontaine. You can play whatever music you like. If you get tired, the roasted lavender melon zone is just over there. Ito says that lavender melons are <clears throat> rock and roll fuel. So what do you think? Want to give it a try? Heck yes. Hi, cut that out! <laughs> oh, lucky Ito's gone, otherwise Paimon would never hear the end of it. <laughs> Let's change the topic. What other fun stuff is there to do here, Mr. Dvorak? Well, we're planning to invite some more music enthusiasts, and we're still getting some supplies together, so we can decorate the place a little. But it could take some time. The Arataki gang has shifted their focus to the dog situation ever since I brought it up. Only one of them is actually sticking to the plan. Her name is Kuki Shinobu. She's out delivering invitations right now. Uh-oh. <laughs> yep, that's the Arataki gang for ya. Everyone else goose around. Shinobu gets things done. Yep. We should help out. We can't let this event get totally derailed when Shinobu's out there doing her part. Yep. Oh, I mean, are you sure? Absolutely, we can handle this. That uh, would be extremely useful. We're starting to get behind schedule, and a couple extra pairs of hands could make all the difference. No problem. We're happy to help. So you need us to find some music lovers and gather materials for decorating, was that it? Exactly. According to the original plan, we aim to finish everything in five days, and then the big party can begin. Actually, uh, give me a second, I'll make you a checklist of all the outstanding tasks. That way it'll all be clearer. Oh, also, one other tidbit to share with you? Ito is planning to perform a song on stage on the final day of the event. Ooh. Ugh, typical bullchucker always has to be the center of attention. <laughs> okay, why don't you do the song too, Paimon? Oh, Paimon would steal the show for sure! No one would give Ito a second look after that! Pretty sure he'd yell out, Paimon's so rock and roll it hurts! And then he'd run off the stage, bawling his eyes out! <laughs> oh, dang, this is messed up. <laughs> <laughs> Those are some bold claims, Miss Paimon, but that kind of confidence would serve you well on the stage. Ah, Paimon's just kidding. Anyway, we'll be ready for that checklist as soon as it's done, Mr. Dvorak. Great. Feel free to take a look around. I'll bring it over in a few minutes. All right. Let's see. All right, give me a second. All right, so let me see. Ooh, ooh. Well, well, well. Yo. If it isn't the Traveler and Paimon. Hey, it's been a while. Wow, Shinobu and Hazo. What a surprise. Yeah. <laughs> this truly is a pleasant surprise. Although, not that surprising, to be honest. I was just telling Miss Shinobu that I had a sneaking suspicion we might run into you. Yep. <laughs> Doshin Shikanoin was talking about you constantly the whole way here. I guess the universe answered his prayers. Mm hmm. Eh, it's called intuition. Names pop into my head at relevant moments, just the way my mind works. It's great to see you both, yeah. 
I went sure wasn't expecting Hazo to be the first one to show up. Boss nagged me to prioritize the Tenryo Commission invitations. He specifically requested Madame Kujo Sara and Doshin Shikanoin. So, why isn't Sara here? <sighs> Almost certainly because she has no desire whatsoever to see Ito. In her defense, here's what was written on the invitation letter. Kujo Tengu, come meet me at the top of the Sanganamiya Shrine. Let's go nuts and have a totally rock and roll sumo wrestling match. A sumo wrestling match? If I were Kujo Sara, I'd jump at the chance to throw Ito off the roof. <laughs> but then wouldn't Kokumi come and throw Sara off too? All that stamping around on her roof, the noise would drive her crazy! Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, anyway, Madame Kujo Sara's response was much more magnanimous than mine would have been. She gave us a basket of lavender melons to bring as a gift. Oh, that's cool. Magnanimous? <laughs> I'm not so sure. Something tells me she's trying to send a message. What message? Yeah. If that Oni brat wants to pick a fight with me, there will be plenty of lavender melons waiting for him at the police station. Oh. Maybe the fact you assume that says more about you than her. So what about the other basket of lavender melons, huh? Is that one from you? What message are you trying to send? <laughs> the other basket is actually from a few of us at the police station. I chipped in, and so did some other Doshin who've arrested Ito before, and so did some of Ito's former cellmates. Oh. So, I guess this basket of lavender melons is our way of saying, there'll always be a place for you here. <laughs> uh, maybe just give Boss the melons and don't mention that part? Yeah. Sure. Well, my work is done here, anyway. Now that I've delivered the lavender melons and said hello to the traveler, I should probably get going. Uh, aren't you gonna stay for the event? <laughs> Don't worry, I'll definitely be back for the big party. But I have some business to attend to in Rito first. Eesh, being a detective sounds busy. I got you running around all over the place. Oh wait, Rito! Do you happen to know anything about a mystery Ninken that appeared during the war? Apparently a lot of people in Rito were talking about it. Ah, the dog, yes. That was the inspiration behind this music festival, wasn't it? Shinobu told me all about it. Oh, never mind. Paimon just thought a detective might have the inside scoop. I'm only speculating here, but from experience, I'd say it's probably just a local legend. I doubt the dog even exists. What's wrong? From the look on your face, you've got a vested interest in this situation. Hmm. Interesting. Well, since I'm going to Rito anyway, I can always ask around and see where it leads. Are you sure it won't impact your work? <laughs> Don't be silly. If this matters to you, that's a good sign that it'll turn out to be something that interests me, too. <laughs> Stay tuned for more info. See you all soon. All right, see you. Seems like Doshin Shikanoin's quite the lone wolf. Well, I'd better get back to delivering these invitations. Gotta make sure the big party's a success. Alright, see you later. In that case, guess it's time for us to get to work, too. Wonder how that checklist is coming along. Sorry to keep you waiting. Here's that list for you. If you can work your way through all this, we'll be back on track. Great! Perfect timing, Mr. Dvorak! We'll get on it right away! Thank you. I'm very grateful for your help. If you feel like flexing your musical muscles to take a break at any point, just come and find me in the jam zone. All right. Oh, that was first complete right there. Oh, I hate yes. It is. Oh, that rock and roll, baby. I can feel it. Yeah. 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 Dang. 
Alright. Ooh. Still a lot of defense right here. Oh. Oh, they, we gotta do one for this. I gotta do one for TikTok. Alright, we did that. Alright, what else? Oh, we can get him. Ooh. That's interesting. Okay. Alright. Hmm. So we gotta do like one of these events, right? What's this one? Oh yeah, we got all oh, like one of these. Wow, okay. Let me try one of these. Alright. Okay, let me see. Let's go here. Yeah, we were right here. Wait, hold on. <laughs> oh, what's that on the head? <laughs> Definitely her. That <laughs> did nothing. Alright, let's go here. I think we gotta do some of the events. Alright. Hello. Would you like to practice some music? Great. Before you get started, you'll want to calibrate your instrument. Everyone's playing style is slightly different. Let me help you with that. Okay. Hello. Would you like to practice? No, I don't okay, let's go. Oh, really? You've got the things from the list? Great. I'll take those. Thanks so much. Alright, let's do some skit. Right, come on. Hello. Would Great. I've been looking forward to hearing you play. Alright. Alright, we'll do this. I'm gonna do normal first. Okay, there. Ooh, a true. Ooh, okay. Just like before. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, we did this. All right, let's go. There you go. All oh, shit! I suck at this. Shoot, I'll fuck. Damn it. Yeah. Trying to join the music. I suck at this. Bam. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hey, 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 hey. This 
this is kind of giving me that Persona 5 feeds. Ah! Lenny got some good music here. Star. Alright, let me see. What's like the to do list that I have to do? Oh shit. Alright, yeah, so I gotta do. Okay. Okay, let's do this. Tell me where that bitch at. Where that hole? So are you telling me I gotta find this shit somewhere in the goddamn map? Alright, let me see this bitch. Alright, I'll come after your asses. The wind knows me. Now you shall perish. Illusion shattered. Huh? One with nature. Fallen leaves. Adorn my for this too. Hold the line. Gotcha. Oh, I think I'm supposed to use the ice for this. As one with wind and clouds. Into the wind. Get me done. Midnight Phantasmagoria. Oh yeah, okay, we gotta do this. Clear weather all around brightens the heart. I think this is where a story comes in, right? Hello. Would you like? Yeah, we gotta smith oh, this. Oh, really? You've got the things. Mm -hmm. Got one of them. Does it do anything? Okay, it does something. Okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right. What's the next scene? Oh, I thought it was some kind of scene. Hello, would you like to press? Still gotta do more of that shit, do we? Oh, really? You and I guess we are not really done, right? Alright, let's get to work. Alright then. Alright, we gotta do this one. What is this? Oh yeah, well now we gotta take pictures. Oh fuck me. Alright. Alright, I'm gonna hide me. And I think there's another one in Fontaine. I think there was more too. But I'm gonna do the one in Fontaine since I saw that one. <laughs> yeah, there's a dog over there, so. Alright. 
and a dog. Hey, what's the dog doing? I got a closer look. I think there's another dog around here somewhere, right? Yeah, is that a dog right there? Yeah, a dog right there. I'll take a photo of that dog right there, the guard one. Right, I'm gonna hide it. Zoom, okay. Alright, now... There's like a cat one, right? Yep, there's a cat. Okay. That's one in fun pain, right? Onstead, right? What that cat place at? Get a cat right there. Yeah, a cat right there. Easy and hot. Get it. Alright, that's settled. For that one. Alright, now we need to gather these things. Yeah, alright. I think I know what the, one of them are. Some film fountain. Wait, no, not from fountain. Uh, around this area. Alright, where are those eggs? Somewhere around here. Yep, all of them all the way over here. Get the other ones. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm not fighting that thing. Screw that. Wait, there's a treasure chest like that? Hold on. No, oh, screw it. Give me a second. I'll do that later. Here somewhere, where that at? Alright, one right there. Alright, up to the other one. Okay. Take it easy. Oh. I get the wrong. Take it easy.
Okay. Alright, it is. Okay. Alright, let's submit to some of them. Hello. Would you like to... Oh, really? Yep. Alright. Yeah, looking good. We're getting there. Oh, I want to check some of that out. Okay, hold on. Oh, it can change color. Oh, it can change the angles. Oh. What's the color? Oh, okay. I think I see a little bit. Okay, orange. Purple, okay. And what is this? What did it change? Oh, it just did all purple. Okay. What's the angle of this? Oh, okay. Alright, let's do this one. Oh, these ones. Okay. some music. Okay, I'll do we select. Okay, let's play. I don't know if we did this right. But we did one wrong. Hmm. Maybe this. I guess it's this then. Okay.
Okay. We did one. Hello. Would you? Oh, really? Yep, we got all. Well, I think we got all, right? Yeah, we got all. Yeah. Oh, look at this. Ooh. Thank you both so much. At last, everything on the list is done. Yeah. I'm afraid I still have some final preparations to make, but I'll see you tomorrow. Then the party can begin. Yeah. Yeah, it starts. Alright, where is it? God damn it, we gotta wait for the next day. Okay. Alright, tomorrow. Well, they're all here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, compadres, you're here. Hey, serious props to you both. This place looks amazing. Even better than I'd imagined. <laughs> yep. <sighs> Everything looks perfect. We're ready for business. Traveler, Paimon, you have our thanks. Guys, guys, why so serious? That ain't rock and roll, man. <laughs> Paimon. Hey, look at that. My favorite melon's a fast learner. Also, I hear you're going to be taking the stage tonight. Whoa, itching for a little competition, huh? Uh, Paimon uh, was just joking. <sighs> Seriously, Dvorak? Unbelievable. <laughs> well, you brought that upon yourself, Paimon. You had it coming. Getting cold feet? Nah, don't blame you. I am the reigning champion of the great sing-along, after all. Oh, come on. Oh, I'm uh, backing you down from a challenge ain't a very rock and roll. <laughs> yeah, I'll say this. Heck yeah. What? Paimon is too rock and roll. Paimon was just being humble. <laughs> then bring it on. Oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, oh. ho. Yes. Yeah, like. <laughs> oh, Paimon's bringing it all right. Paimon's bringing it all the way home. Ha! Oh, it's a challenge. Oh, by the way, did you ever find that dog? Oh yeah, the dog. Ah, we hit a complete dead end. Goro said he didn't know anything. Mamaru and the guys asked around the city, but no luck there either. What if it really is in Tenshukaku? Is that why we can't find it? Oh, no, no, don't go poking around Tenshukaku again. You'll give Kujo Sara a migraine. Yeah. Couldn't agree more. If I bother her too much, I'll end up getting struck by lightning. <laughs> so that's why this time, I kept my distance and just threw some paper notes towards Tenchukaku. Hopefully the Raiden Shogun sees them and hands the dog over. <laughs> Wait, what? You're still taking a big risk there! It looks like Doshin Shikanoin was right. It's probably just a local legend after all. Well, let's hope not, because that would really suck. Wish I had more time to look into it, but unfortunately... This guy's got a performance to practice for. Oh, okay. Now don't forget, there's lyrics and music scores in the jam zone, so no wussing out tonight. Ooh. Don't get too cocky, Ooh bull checker. We'll see who's rock and roll. Oh, ho, ho. This is gonna be epic right here. <laughs> Game on, Mini Melon. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> oh, Paimon better get some practice in at the jam zone soon. No way is Paimon gonna lose to Ito! Uh, you're probably gonna lose. Oh, by the way, we invited a ton of people this time. Including some people you know. A few have already shown up and they're asking about you. Wanna oh, really? say hi? Yeah, I wanna say hi to them. Cool, yeah, let's go see them! Paimon's curious to find out who you invited. Uh, where are they at? Where are they at? Hey, Traveler, some of your friends are here. Wanna go say hi? 
Alright, said the same thing. Alright. Oh, 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 okay. Ooh. I, uh, I'll do you last, since I already saw you. Alright, I'll see them. Hey, Tom, and I can't say. I can't say their names again. Suck at the same people's names. Yoma! I can't say that. Oh, no, that's not even right. But hey! Hey! Oh, you're a real trooper, Yoimiya. Okay, This yeah. must be one of the furthest places you've ever delivered to. I promised Ito that I'd supply fireworks for his festival. I wasn't about to go back on my word. Hey, Toma! Yoimiya! Yay! Traveler! Paimon! Cool! You're here too! It's been too long. <laughs> Well, looks like I owe the Arataki gang a huge thank you. If they weren't putting on this event, who knows when I would have gotten to see you next. <laughs> you hear that? In case it was too subtle for you, Toma is complaining that you guys never make time to come and visit your old pals. Oh. oh that's true. Obviously, traveling's very important to you, but you gotta take a break every once in a while. Just remember that you've got friends out there that would love nothing more than the chance to make you feel looked after. Alright, thank you both. That means a lot. Yeah, we haven't seen you guys for a long time. Well, especially Toma. Of course! Oh, I heard this really cool thing I gotta share with you guys! So, Ito says that the theme of his music festival comes from a story about a dog that saved animals in the war zone. How amazing is that? What do you know about this dog, Toma? Everyone knows how well connected you are. <laughs> For once, not much, I'm afraid. I guess my connections are one key canine short. But assuming <laughs> this really happened, I feel like Watatsumi Island would have had to be involved. Mm. This is a dog who managed to sneak in and out of a war zone repeatedly without leaving a trail for anyone to follow. Whatever the case, it would have needed someone to help cover its tracks. As far as I know, the Shogun's army doesn't do that kind of thing. So you're saying it was the Sanganomiya troops? They had a specially trained dog for rescuing critters from the battlefield? Uh, it might be possible. Sounds kind of far-fetched if you ask me. Do we really think Sanganomiya's forces had enough manpower to fight a full-scale war and run a, 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 what, a canine wildlife rescue operation on the side? I mean, they kind of did challenge uh, their own slogan, so yeah. Okay, well, if it wasn't Song on Amiya's side, it must have been the Shogunate. Mmm, I. Nah, I'm not sure either. I doubt they have a manpower either. Right. So, in my view, it's more likely that Mr. Dvorak simply made the story up as something to capture people's imaginations. I mean, he's an artist, right? Isn't rock music about expressing things we don't fully understand? Hmm, yeah, I think that's true. Kinda like fireworks in a way. Uh, don't question it, just feel it. Hmm, yeah, that sort of makes sense. That makes you an artist too, Yoimiya! Fireworks are your art. <laughs> I'll take it. And on that note, boy, do I have an art show for you tonight. Make sure you don't miss it. All right. Sounds like you know a few things about art yourself, Toma. Art? Me? <laughs> Does knitting sweaters count? Absolutely! Knitting is totally an art form! Mm -hmm. Just... not a very rock and roll one, I guess. I don't think I'll be doing any knitting tonight. No, not with that attitude! You could, uh, knit sweaters with rock and roll and big letters! Then get everyone to wear them! Hmm... Good idea. I'll look into it next time. Alright, let's talk to the others. Ooh, okay. Been a while since we saw them. Yeah. This Hina looks very familiar. Even the outfit. Oh, oh, oh. Huh. I was thinking the same thing, Your Excellency. But I just can't put my finger on it. She really is the spitting image. I don't know if I ever did that quest of Garo, the hangout event. Of Garo. Of Garo, I mean. Of who? Garo, come to me! Hey! Yay, hey, been a while. Oh, hello, you two. It's been a while. <laughs> I'm so 
so happy to see you again. I was just asking Shinobu if she knew where you were. This is a nice surprise. Paimon didn't expect to run into you two at an Arataki Gang music festival. Yeah, I heard that uh, Garo helped uh, source... Yeah, helped out a little bit. Oh, I barely did anything. A reader for my That's Life column was asking for advice about it, so I figured I'd help out. Turned out the reader in question was Mr. Arataki Ito. Her Excellency was also very supportive of the whole thing. Mm. An international rock and roll music festival sounded like a good way to attract tourists. And it's to bring attention to the plight of living things, right? Seems like a meaningful cause. Mm -hmm. Yeah, apparently it has something to do with a dog that was a war hero. Although sadly probably not a true story. Have either of you heard anything about that? Oh, you know... Bits and pieces. Nothing concrete. Hmm, yeah, no, me neither. Hmm, those sounded suspiciously like prepared answers. Uh-oh. <laughs> Probably because we've answered that question before. Mr. Arataki Ito came to ask us about it a while back. We'd certainly love to help if we can. Yes, of course. Um, <clears throat> actually, I was hoping to ask for your opinion on something. Sure, what is it? Does Miss Hina look familiar to you at all? I have this strange feeling like I've seen her somewhere before. Uh-oh. I don't even know. To be honest, I never played. Maybe something happened that I didn't know. <laughs> oh! Um... Ah, uh, I'm gonna say this. Hmm, maybe it's just me. Hmm. <laughs> ah, she probably just looks similar to someone you know. Like how the Traveler looks similar there's no mystery here, don't overthink it. Ah, I see. Well, that does make sense. Traveler, let's get out of here. <laughs> yeah, something happened. Wait, hold on. Did I ever hear them? Who could it be? <laughs> Did I hear them? What did they say? like you know a few things about art yourself, Toma. Oh, okay, yeah, art. never mind. Absolute just not a... No, no, it... Hmm. I heard of this, okay. Alright, our detective. What you up to? Hey, there you are. I sent you some letters a few days ago. Have they shown up yet? Ooh, does this mean you figured it out? I've made some progress, but I'm still missing the final piece of the puzzle. So, what did you learn? I don't have anything conclusive yet, but I have a hunch that it involved both the Yashiro Commission and Sanganamiya. Mm. What? You mean like in cahoots during the war? Shh. Like I said, it's just a hunch. Let's not get carried away. All right. Anyway, I've written to the station, and they shouldn't take too long to get back to me. Yuriki Iwata should be able to help find what I need. In the meantime, You'll just have to be patient. I would have gone back to the station to look into it myself, but I knew Ito was performing tonight, and I didn't want to miss it. You know who else is performing tonight? Paimon! Oh, <laughs> wow! Sounds like I'm in for a real treat. I definitely picked the right place to be tonight. Will the Traveler's long-serving voice finally graduate from speech to song in a triumphant victory over the Oni Rocker of Hanamizaka? Oh, yeah, okay. They don't call her a flying rock, rock and roll feel for nothing. Yep. <laughs> I'll be awaiting with bated breath. Cut it out, both of you. No more stupid nicknames. <laughs> I didn't realize so many people we know would be here. Better get practicing, or tonight could be super embarrassing. Yeah, you better get practicing. Come on, let's head to the gym zone. All right. Dvorak, you're still here! Sure am. I've been checking over the equipment, scores, and lyric sheets to make sure everything's ready for tonight. Shinobu was telling me how popular light novels are here in Inazuma, so I've tweaked the melody and lyrics for a more Arataki gang feel with a light novel twist. Light novels plus rock music, so... Light rock! Yeah. <laughs> I actually didn't change too much. Just took out the dog and made it about Onikabuto instead. Should be more up Ito's alley. This event couldn't have happened without him. 
It's my way of showing him some appreciation, I guess. What? You got rid of the dog? But wasn't that the whole inspiration behind the festival? Yes, but that's all it was. The initial inspiration. Doesn't matter if we change it to an Onikabuto, or you, or me, or anything else. It's the spirit of it that counts. Spirit? What do you mean? Um, the spirit of rock and roll? Yep. Okay, should have seen that coming. <laughs> yeah. Uh, do you think the people have been getting too high focus on the dog story? <laughs> it's all about the music, my friends. Just enjoy the music. That's all that matters. Uh, fair enough. Alright, well speaking of enjoying music, is it alright if Paimon goes first? Paimon's gotta get practicing or Bullchucker's gonna hide in the spotlight tonight. By all means, be my guest. I knew you'd come around to the idea of going on stage. Here's the music score and lyrics. I can't wait to see this. Ooh, let's see now. What's this song called? I got reincarnated as an Oni Kabuto and flipped the world upside down? <laughs> what sort of song title is that? Is this supposed to be rock and roll? Soft rock, actually. <laughs> Soft rock? I gotta see these lyrics. Hey, yeah, I'll see them. You can hear them tonight when Paimon sings the song. Alright. Paimon's gonna rock so hard, Bullchucker won't know what hit him. <laughs> Alright. Yeah. Yeah, yeah alright. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight is a night to celebrate, and I trust you're all having a wonderful time. Mm -hmm. It's been a non-stop rock and roll ride this evening, and we're almost at the end. But first, it is my huge honor to invite two very special guests to the stage. The illustrious Mr. Arataki Ito mm -hmm. and Miss Paimon. <laughs> oh, now she's shy. <laughs> the two of them will be performing a brand new song written specially for tonight's event. It's called I Got Reincarnated as an Onikabuto and Flipped the World Upside Down. Take it away. Yeah, kind of long though. All right, let's hear the song. Ooh. Do your best. Yeah. Raven took an arrow to the heart, and the Bakedanu key shape shifted into dark. Please a thief hereby bequeath a my mora two hundred ghosts to my pa. <laughs> Only have it to raise your heart Here's to a world beyond the storm A rosy sky Yeah Yeah, yeah Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was fun Yeah. Ah. So that's rock music, huh? It's a little different than I imagined. Really? It's different from what I'd heard before. Could be a relatively new genre of rock, I suppose. So, how'd you like my performance? Did I dominate this little melon here or what? <laughs> that you did, yeah. Okay, bull chugger, you got owned and you know it! <laughs> Stop it, you two. I think both of you are sensational. Here, here. <laughs> really mind blowing stuff, guys. I call it a draw. You're very evenly matched. Mm hmm. But I thought he won. Huh? You think? Okay, well, uh, what about you, my compadre? Who do you think is the most rock and roll? 
Oh shit! You're gonna make me pick. Uh, I'll say in this. Hey, don't try to change the subject. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not Let's argue anymore, it. shall we? Ito and Paimon, you both gave incredibly moving performances. I owe you all an enormous debt of gratitude. Without your help, this music festival never would have happened. <laughs> Don't mention it, Jack Attack. Hey, if we hadn't met, I wouldn't even know what the spirit of rock and roll means. The spirit of rock and roll? So what does it mean? What does it mean for rock music to have a spirit? It means you rock up, rock out, roll the dice, and roll with the punches. Just like me and Paimon. Yeah, that's obviously not what it means. Mr. Dvorak, could you please give us the official definition? Someone needs to take this guy down a peg. Dang. <laughs> 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 an, an official definition? I don't know that one exists. It's an emotional experience. As though you're hearing your own story speak to you through the music. Funny you should say that. I was just thinking that the spirit of rock and roll is, uh, well, like the Onikapito in the song. Having the courage to grab life by the horns and survive against all the odds. I guess I have a better sense of rock and roll than I thought. <laughs> what about you, Yoimiya? Oh, well, I thought it was gonna be all about that dog, but then the song didn't even mention it, so, uh... Was that supposed to be symbolic? Like, if the dog didn't exist, maybe the injured animals didn't either. If there was no injured animals, then that means there was no war. Which means the world is at peace. Yeah. Oh, so for Yoimiya, the rock and roll spirit is all about world peace. Okay, Shiobi, what about you? Me? given it all that much thought. I was mostly worrying about whether those paper notes boss threw into Tenshukaku are going to get him in trouble with the Tenryo Commission. Uh-oh. Shouldn't <laughs> throw that. <laughs> that must mean that for Shinobu, the rock and roll spirit is about keeping the Arataki gang safe. Shinobu, seriously, you've got nothing to worry about. If the Raiden Jogan had seen any of those notes, she'd have come to join the party. Paimon agrees that you don't need to worry. Would have arrested Ito by now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, don't tell me that's going to happen. Wait, where is that guy anyway? And where did Kokumi and Goro go? Oh, they oh they went somewhere. Oh, Doshin Shika knowing had to run back to the station, so he didn't get the chance to say goodbye to you guys. But he did leave something for you. It's over there. Ooh. What's over there? As for the other two, they couldn't stick around because they had a government meeting to get to. They did ask me to pass on their regards, though. The fact that these busy people all made time to attend the party is telling. Clearly, Ito wasn't exaggerating about the stature of the Arataki gang. Ito, what can I say? It's truly been an honor to work with you. <laughs> well, Jack Attack, I can't take all the credit. Let's not forget the Traveler's part in all this. A lot of people showed up because they knew he'd be here. If we do this again, we gotta make sure we find a way to get him on stage. Uh-oh. Now you're gonna sing. How's that sound, compadre? Get that rock and roll spirit ready, because next time it'll be your turn to rock our collective socks off. Yeah, that's gonna be the next event, isn't it? Well, not the next event, but in the future event, wherever that happens. Uh, your Excellency, I believe the Ten Real Commission detective is... Don't worry about it, Goro. The Puppy Union was a joint venture between us and the Yashiro Commission. If we can maintain secrecy, then all the better for it. But that was never the main goal. We saved some lives, and that's what matters. Uh, I was more worried about the potential impact on your reputation, Your Excellency. After all, some of the lives we've saved belong to the Shogunate. If someone with an agenda Ooh. finds out, it could cause an uproar. Well, that is interesting. Don't worry. There might be a way to make it work out in our favor. Oh, that robot's over there. Really? Huh? Times have changed. We and Narukami Island are supposed to be working together now. So it's not necessarily a bad thing if people discover that we were already cooperating with the Yashiro Commission even during the war. Hmm. I see. Goro, if you want my opinion, 
You should be more concerned about Miss Hina than you are about this. Miss Hina? What makes you say that? I hear she works for That's Life magazine as well. She's young, popular, pretty, and she seems to be just as good at offering comfort to people in need as you are. So, it looks like you have some competition. <clears throat> Understood, Your Excellency. I will work hard to stay ahead of the competition. Okay. Hey! I was wondering where I could get to see both of them. I learned something new today. I never knew that the Hydro Nation's rock music had the power to stir up lightning. Miko, a few days ago, some strange paper notes flew into Tenshukaku, uh -oh. demanding that I hand over the dog. So I am here to see what on earth it was all about. I just assumed you must have gotten yourself a pet puppy. As it happens, I also received an invitation letter via Sara. Mm. I've never heard the name Arataki before, but they must be one of my subjects, and so I thought, why not grant them their wish? Oh. Ah, so you came here to make a little Oni's wish come true, hmm? So tell me, how do you plan to respond to the Fontanian musician? It sounded to me like his music was commenting on the war. The war? I'm not sure we can give him the answer he would hope for. Mm. But if nothing else, I know that we must avoid another war at all costs. The people cannot be made to suffer like that again. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, I see. But what if the bigger war comes to pass? What then? Then we gotta be prepared. If it cannot be avoided, then... I will have no choice but to fight. Yeah, yeah. That sounds big. Hmm. Well, if that day comes, I'm sure that everyone here tonight will fight by your side. Now tell me this is some kind of end game. That they're, <laughs> that they're doing. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, that's the end of that. I want to hear everyone else. Anyone else here? Nope. Fuck me. Alright, I think this is the end of the video. This, this is kind of short to me, to be honest, but... You know what? We might do some of this stuff on TikTok, so... Oh yeah, we gotta do this. I'm gonna do a whole video about this, so... Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm gonna hide and seek and all that. Alright, you want more Party to the Lead? Subscribe to the channel. Leave a like and comment down below and tell me what you guys think about this event. It's been six days. So, alright, I'll see you guys again.